this mix cedar mixer or what do you call it model e9 active noise canceling wireless headphones I will say I got these for free. They sent me an email from my YouTube channel. Active noise canceling tech, around 30 hour playtime, 40 millimeter large aperture drivers, wireless and wired connection, adjustable and foldable design, compact carrying case. Where it just says name again. This is fairly nice packaging. I got two different companies, oddly enough, mail me about their headsets at the same time. Also, this Impal Bluetooth headset. I've had the Impal wired headset before, and it was pretty good. It's cheap. It broke after you know a year or two. The sound quality is pretty good, and the microphone is pretty good. I even used it to make a couple of videos. I've never heard of this company before, but we're going to check them out. Right inside the box. Yeah, say it's a pretty nice case. Let's see if it has that weird smell. Eh, a little bit of a weird smell. Well, it's pretty cool looking. I mean, they're nice and shiny. Pretty good case, really. I mean, big headset comes with a nice little accessory kit. Uh, <laughs> that's funny little sticker. No, it's just a little book. That's funny. There's a little bit of smell inside here. I don't know if it's this or these. Uh, a cord to charge it. It's a micro B, which I'm not crazy about. And it includes... Oh. So it includes a cord to plug it in, which is nice. But there's no volume controls on here. It includes one of these airplane adapters. I fly a lot. Maybe you need this for international flights, but I haven't been on a plane yet that required one of these. Maybe back in the 90s. Alright. So. It's pretty good. It's shiny. And let's see. On the bottom, we have the active noise canceling on and off button. Charging port. Nice big buttons for volume. I wish it stuck out the way you could kind of feel it. I guess you can tell this is up and this is down by how close this is to this. And a power button. Alright, I'm going to pair those with my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Which uh, I think has pretty good sound quality. And I use it. I've had it for longer than any of my other phones. I change phone a lot, but I always keep coming back to this. It has good audio quality. Uh, we're going to try it wired for a little bit first. Uh, because, of course, the Note 9 still has the headphone jack. And then uh, I'll charge it up and try some Bluetooth on it. Alright, so I got this uh, Impal headset. They uh, contacted me through email and said they would like to send me these to try them for my YouTube channel. So uh, I said, sure, send them over. I've had Impal headsets before. I had a wired one uh, with a microphone that I used as a gaming headset, sort of, and it worked pretty good. I used it to just take phone calls, but it worked pretty good. But then the plastic broke, so a little over a year. So hopefully this one's made a little better. Hi-Fi audio, I don't know if that's really anything. It's just a focus saying. Active noise canceling, microphone, foldable design, soft and comfortable. So let's just see. It's not bad packaging. It's sort of basic, but certainly not terrible by any means. Uh, it has this little pouch to hold it. I don't like these pouches. I prefer to have like an actual case, but it's better than nothing, I guess. A super tiny cord to charge it. This is micro USB as well. And a cord to listen to the audio plugged in. It didn't say that in the box, but I'm guessing since it has that, it works. Nice packaging and bubble. Not bad. Comes this little guide here. And something about charging. Look at the actual headset. Well, I gotta say it's nicer than I was expecting.
Oh yeah, these must. They look smaller on here, but yeah, they're pretty big size. And they twist one way, this way, so you can lay them flat like that. And you know, decent thickness there. On the bottom we have the A and C control here, just a little bit of switch. Charging port. Oh, that's nice. So either volume or so either volume or changing your track at fast forward maybe. I don't know. If it's all ones, I don't like that. So maybe you probably gotta hold it down to do something. I'd rather just be a dial or something more discreet. And then of course the port to plug in, which is good. I guess maybe that little hole is the microphone to make phone calls. Alright, so there's the Impel headsets. I am it's just called Bluetooth headset, so I'm going to pair these with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, uh, which does have a headphone jack, so I'm going to try plugging it in, uh, and then charging it up, and then doing the Bluetooth connection. I also have this headset that came in, this mix sitter. I'm going to test them as well in a separate video, so you can see. Uh, they're pretty similar. This one's more padding, I guess. But audio quality is just what we're concerned about, right? Want to see them both side by side. And then I'm going to charge one of them up and use the headset cord on the one, and then I'll swap them and then do the Bluetooth section later. But for now, we're just going to try to listen to the audio quality. Alright, so I've been listening to it wired here, and it sounds pretty. Gosh darn good, pardon my language. Uh, it's pretty impressive. I'm using Spotify. Yeah, it doesn't really come through here, but trust me, it sounds great with the wire. So now I'm gonna charge it up and we'll see how it sounds. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, honestly, I didn't have super high expectations. Well, that's just the song that came on. It's not really, I was listening to Sunreal's new album. I didn't really like it. I liked a couple songs. I guess those two songs, Dive Bar and Quit. But the uh, album I wasn't really crazy about. But, and normally I like him. So, that's irrelevant. That's what I was listening to, but I'm listening to stuff that I know on Spotify, on the Note 9. And so far, the Impal sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm going to charge it up, and I'll try it Bluetooth, and in theory, it should sound even better. So, I'm getting ready to try these out. I'm working on this here. You can see they plug in here just fine. Uh, I got one complaint though. This thing's so fat, they don't plug into my Note 9 with the case on. And I've had this Note 9 for a while and I've plugged tons of things into it. So I'm going to take the case off to test it just to make sure this guy goes in here. Yeah, so now it's plugged in. And this is the cord it came with, and you can use other cords, I guess, but that's the one I'm using. Alright, so I charged it up. I'm going to listen to it wired with the power off, and then I'm going to connect it Bluetooth and listen to it that way. Then I'll be using Spotify on the Note 9. Alright, right off the bat, this cord's junk. Uh, it, If you touch it, it makes static sound. Like I said, I've had my Note 9 for a long time. I never had that problem, so this cord is definitely a problem. I'm going to replace it with a cord from, I'm going to use this cord that came with the Impal headset instead, but right off the bat, I'm not happy that this cord, one, it wouldn't fit, and two, it's staticky when you touch it, so that part sucks. So if I plug in the cord that came with the Impal into the Mix CDR one, it works fine. I just opened this literally an hour ago I guess you can see I don't know if it'll come up in the video this is the cord from the mix Let's see and there's a little dent looking there right that's the problem I bet you can kind of see it there it's like a little indentation so I don't know if that's poor packaging or what but either way this cord is static heat and that really annoys me that I just opened out of the box and it's making that noise but these 3.5 millimeter cords are cheap uh, I got extra ones of course I'm just using the one from the Impal because I had that with me. Anyhow, so I'm going to continue testing it and see how it sounds.
So right off the bat, I'm going to say, I'm listening to something real. Impal Wired sounds better than these guys do. These don't sound bad by any means, but the Impal sound. You can even tell, like, why I'm here at the same volume. You can hear them. The other one you couldn't hear unless I had them on, which I kind of like. Right off the bat, I'm going to give the audio quality Wired to Impal. All right, so... Before I get confused, these don't sound bad. Uh, they just, on first glance, don't sound as good as the, they just don't sound as good as the Impound. So I'm listening to Spotify, this time it's Kizzy Mars. So let's now, I'm going to go to the Bluetooth. There's a power button right there. So I'm on, I guess. It's not really a way to identify. All right, so now the blue lights are blinking. I'm scanning on my Note 9. You can see my Seikane and my AKG have been previously connected. Sounds like this thing's talking to me. There we go. Mixer E9. It does say connected. It said it out loud in there. So that's interesting. All right, so I'm using the Samsung will match the Bluetooth volume. So let me try them on. Side note, it also says, it says R right here in case you're wondering what's that, right or left. Alright, so I have them on right now. Alright, so there's a massive sound difference, obviously, between wired and wireless. Uh, quality being on the wireless portion by far. Yeah, that sounds really good like that. That was not even with the ANC turned on. So now I'm going to turn ANC on. You see the little blue light till you know it's on. So that made a big difference too. You know, I can hear pretty good. All right, I'm going to play my. So I'm wearing the headphones with ANC turned on. I'm playing audio from my Pixel while my Bluetooth's connected here. And the music's paused. I can still sort of hear this. I'm just trying to see how much it actually noise canceled out. But I can still hear it when it's next to me here. So uh, let me push this off again. All right, now with it off, I don't really notice that does any difference. I mean, I guess it's doing something, but to me, it just to clarify what I'm doing. I'm playing audio on my Google Pixel 3a while my Bluetooth headphones are connected to my Note 9, and I'm just seeing if I could hear with the headphones on and the music pause, and I can. I'm gonna turn it back on, and I'm just gonna listen to music for a little bit. So you can hear it from, you can tell there's some power coming down here. And yeah, if I hit the big buttons for the volume, you can see the volume going. If I hit this button. Yeah, so it works. Alright, I think I did decent testing with these. So I'm going to turn these off. The mixer ones. I'm turning the A and C off. You can see these are powered off now. All right, so with these, I'm gonna hold the power button down. Power on. Well, they say powered on. I'm gonna note nine. I'm gonna go to the Bluetooth. And you can see the Impal H3 right there. All right, so now they are connected. Says my battery's at 100%, which is pretty good because I didn't charge them that long. Alright. Same song I was just listening to. We'll try it. Alright, so I got back to the same song I was playing. Did not have ANC on. Let's try it again. So now ANC should be on. I'll say it sounds different. I think the ANC, this one it seems like it's working. Another one didn't sound as clear. Like, there's a weird effect that uh, noise-canceling headphones do to you. And this one, I noticed it a lot when I had this turned on. Now, that kind of white noise aspect of it. I don't know that, but like the way it sounds, though. I'll turn it back off. Yeah. So, with the Impal, I definitely like it better with the ANC turned off. Yeah, there's pretty good bass in these. 
Uh, I have a playlist for my kick air subwoofers in my Jeep. It has a lot of these songs, I think, have a lot of bass in them. Yeah, I must say these sound better than the other ones. I want to spice this test up a little bit. I'm going to use my AKG headphones that I always listen to. These came with my Note 9. Uh, I've used them on almost every airplane take trip I've taken since I received them. I listen to them in hotels all the time. I really like them. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me listen to this again with the MPAL. Alright, I just did multiple tests uh, with AKG versus the MPAL versus these mix CDR and then I had the camera pause for a lot of it. Uh, much to my surprise, the Impal is probably the winner here. Uh, this mix CDR, they sound good, but I would say Impal sounds the best. And what to my surprise was, it sounds better than these AKG N60s. Now I understand that these are on ear and these are over ear, but uh, I mean, no disrespect to Impal or Mix Cedar, but AKG is a little more well known. I would say it came with the Samsung. It's a little more premium looking device. I mean, the quality of sound is probably better. Like certainly, if you're listening to a podcast or something, you don't want a lot, a lot of bass or volume too. But if you're wanting some bass in your headphones, these are pretty good. Well, these aren't bad, but I would edge out with them, pal. Now, one knock against the mix is that that cord was messed up but they do come with a nice carrying case now these fold up it might be easier to transport but you know that's where the AKG is a real winner because it's so small but obviously the sound is what you're looking for especially on an airplane uh, I gotta say the impals might be my new carrying case I'm gonna probably let one of the kids have the other one uh, because I'm, I mean they're both I think they're good headsets I don't see anything wrong with any of them but yeah, uh, surprisingly, Impal is, I think, the winner in this round.